Hey there, ladies and gents. I am Ann Kryptony, and this month, January 2019, marks my 10 year anniversary of being a cyborg. So, a little bit of background on what I'm talking about. I spent a couple years learning to fly helicopters. I got through it, I got my hours, I got my ratings, my licenses, the whole shebang. Spent about $100,000, probably a little more. Now as a helicopter pilot, I love to fly. There is no greater feeling than when you're flying through the air. And in a helicopter, you have a completely different set of limitations as compared to airplanes, which allows for some other freedoms that airplanes don't. So flying in a helicopter was the greatest thing in the world, the greatest feeling in the world. For me, a feeling of freedom. So one night, a buddy of mine says, hey, let's go out. And I said, sure, why not? It sounds like a great time. Unfortunately, for us that night, our helicopter went down. We suffered various injuries, including some hypothermia. The other guy had forgotten where we were going, what we were doing, where I had passed out for a while and finally came to. I remembered the picture of the GPS and knew exactly where we were. I feel that maybe I blacked out and that helped preserve that memory, leaving me to have experienced one of the greatest miracles in my life. Anyway, while I relayed to him where we were at, he was out walking around the helicopter trying to guide rescue to us. They had to hike about a mile from the nearest highway and then carried us out in a stretcher where we ended up at the hospital and I waited for probably three days for my parts. So what we discovered in my thoracic vertebrae, two and three had both collided each other during the impact. And the doctor said that left about 30% bone dust. They had to take graft from my pelvis. And then they took the rods and the screws and just put them in me. So my thoracics one through five are pretty much solid. They're not going anywhere. And some might say, whoa, isn't that a scary thing to go through? Are you even gonna get back in a helicopter? Well, one of these days I am. In fact, I have been out. I wasn't flying, but I did go up and it was still the greatest feeling ever. But more importantly, I'm able to do this. That's right. How many pilots that have suffered accidents as brutal as mine? Maybe mine wasn't as brutal, but I have been told that if you didn't know that our helicopter was a helicopter looking at the metal heap. So I have to say, thank you God, thank you Jesus, for the miracle of saving my life and my mobility, as well as keeping my mind intact. And thank you guys for listening to my tale. I hope you enjoyed the slideshow behind me. So take the next few moments to like the video, add some comments, check out my other videos, not from my videos tab, but the playlist tab where all my videos are organized. And then the last thing you have to do is subscribe and then wait for the next one. See you guys.